this video, I'll show how you can easily create realistic looking t-shirt mock-up with your designs on it. I will also show how you can change the t-shirt color to any hex code with just a single click. So without much ado, let's jump onto it. So I'm using this uh, blank t-shirt image which I created using ChatGPT. Uh, so if you want to grab the prompt that I used, go check the description. I'm using Photoshop, uh, but you can follow the same process in Photopia. Uh, once you have opened this image in Photoshop, I'll go drag and place a placeholder design on the top of it. So this placeholder design is optimized for Printful size guide. So you can download this placeholder again from the description. Uh, once it has been placed, I'll use the anchors to position it in the t-shirt where we want to confine the print region. So this looks decent. Uh, once uh, you have positioned it, go and click on this check mark. If I zoom in, uh, this artwork looks uh, very blunt in the sense there no realism or no shadows applied onto this design. So to apply shadows and realism, uh, you go to this background layer, right click and click on duplicate layer. Click on OK. Uh, this will create a duplicate copy. Just hold on to this background copy and move it onto the top. Next, you'll go to image, adjustment and desaturate. So actually when you apply shadows, uh, we want it to be black and white. Shadows are never colored. So we have desaturated this image. Next, right click onto this image and click on create clipping mask. So now this shadow part or this uh, background copy layer effect is only applied onto the design. Uh, do not worry if you do not see our, our design here. The magic is about to happen. You'll select this blending mode from normal and you'll go to hard light. So now we see somewhat of the design and you can clearly see the contrast between highlights and shadows of this artwork. Next, select this background copy. You'll go to image, adjustment, and then curves. So this is the curve. Uh, the left side show the shadow part and the right side shows the highlight part. So I'll just move this uh, shadow part and bring this to the right part. And in the meantime, you can see how the uh, design is getting prominent. I'll move it here. Now, on this uh, highlight part, I will take this uh, pointer and move it to the down. So just tweak it. The goal here is to capture the shadow and the highlight of the t-shirt onto the design layer. So tweak it until you are satisfied. I think this looks nice and then hit OK. So just to show you the contrast, if I turn off the visibility, uh, this was blank without any effect and there you go. Now you have added shadows and highlight. So we use this placeholder. The benefit of using this placeholder is now uh, if you want to apply your designs onto it, just right click. Uh, click on replace content and then select the any other design and within a click the artwork changes with the shadows and the highlights being applied you see uh, if you want to add any other design just right click uh, click on replace content there you get it so there you have it uh, with shadows and highlight applied onto this. So this is pretty simple how to add shadows and highlight using the hard light blend mode. I'll press Ctrl Z to go back to our uh, original placeholder design. Now let us look how we can change the t-shirt color and change it to any hex code. So to do that, uh, grab the background layer, uh, go and select the quick selection tool and you can zoom in and make a selection of the uh, white region of the t-shirt.
I think this is a decent selection. Uh, I may want to know, uh, mask this away, but I'll do that in the later part. Uh, make sure you make a decent selection. Uh, once you make a selection, uh, select this background layer and press Ctrl J in Windows or Command J in Mac. So this will create a copy of the selection. If I turn off this, you will be able to see what we created. So this is the duplicate copy. Now, what we want to do is uh, extract shadows and highlight of this T-shirt or the blank uh, layer here. Uh, to do that, you will turn off the visibility of all the layers. Then you will go to Windows and Actions. So to extract the shadows and highlight, we'll be using this shadow extraction action. Uh, if you want to see how the action function, uh, watch the video that is there in the card. Or if you want to grab the action, go check the link in the description. I'll click on the shadow action and click on play. Adjust the level slider to bring out the shadows of the image. More contrast between the shadow and the highlights, the better. Okay, I'll hit on continue. So this again brings out the levels. Uh, you'll slide all this uh, onto the right. And then uh, the red part shows uh, uh, the you know shadow part. I mean, we are creating a selection here. So just try to add contrast into the shadow and the highlight. I think uh, this is a decent contrast between shadows and highlight. Now hit on OK. So this will create a new layer and if you look, uh, this is the shadow layer if I turn off. So it has extracted the shadows on the top and this is our original layer. So again, uh, I'll turn off the shadow layer, select the layer one again and again now I'll click on this highlight and click on play. Same message, click on continue, I uh, will move the slider to the right. Again, we look out for uh, to get as much contrast as we can. Um, this looks decent. Hit on OK. So we now have the highlight layer on the blank. So we have highlight and shadows. Okay, so we have extracted the shadows and the highlights into different layers. Uh, next, we'll add the color layer. So I'll select the solid color. And then add a color here. Select any color you want and then I'll uncheck and unlock this one and bring this solid color underneath it. Now, uh, this is the layer one that we isolated. So select this layer, press Ctrl or Command if you're in Mac and then left click it. So it will make a selection around the isolated layer. Now select layer one that is the background t-shirt layer. Over here, uh, we have foreground and background. So you'll press first D. Uh, if there are any other color, it will come back to black and white. And then we want to change the foreground and background color. So you can click on this one or you can press X on your keyboard. Uh, this will change it. Uh, once done, uh, select this layer and the selection is still active. I'll click on this mask button. So the mask only shows uh, the isolated part, but what I wanted is to show the background and the hanger part. So again, select this mask and press Ctrl I. This will invert the mask. Now you see uh, the background and the hanger, but the so the t-shirt color is very flat. Now we'll add our shadows and the highlight layer. So this is where the magic happens. So first select the highlight layer, turn the visibility on and from the blending mode, we'll change it to screen, uh, reduce the opacity to maybe you know whatever feels right for you 40 percent now i uh, will select the shadow layer turn on the visibility change the blending mode to multiply and then reduce the opacity to maybe 30 40 percent doesn't this look amazing i mean we had a white color t-shirt now we have a blue color t-shirt uh, now you can font, you can change the color to any color you may want. You can put the hex code as well. And this would look amazingly beautiful. And again, we have this uh, shadow. I mean, we have a, we still have a design and the shadow that we have here. So isn't this amazing? 
So now you can just click and change the color to anything you want. All the resources used in this tutorial is there in the description. Go check them out. The mockup that we created is smart object based. So once you create a mockup, you can also use this smart object based mockup template to automate your mockup creation process and create a thousand mockups in within two minutes. Go check out bulkmockup.com.